Paradigm of Modern Architecture, Ville Savoie, built in 1829 by the French-Swiss architect Charles-Edouard Janere Le Corbusier, in Poissy and a small town near Paris. In this work, the architect exposes a set of terms that constitute its own formal language, and to some extent, the formal language of modern architecture. Through his practical and theoretical work, Luc Corbusier shows a model to create a new architecture, where beauty is supported by the practicality and functionality, whose inspiration comes from the development of machinery and the use of new building materials such as concrete and steel. The rejection of the regional features, the historicist trends and necessary decorative elements, using simple and rational shapes and lines, the use of light, attachment to a universal way of projecting, part of its system of rules, which can be recognized and shared to the point of absolute consider. With the publication of Le Moduleur in 1948, it presents a measurement system based on human proportions, so each magnitude is related to the previous one by the golden radio, and from this the architectural elements are dimensioned. Le Corbusier takes up the old ideal, anticipated by architects like Vitruvius, Alberti or Da Vinci, to establish a direct relationship between the proportions of buildings and man. In Le Corbusier's Ville Savoie, exemplifies the ideal house as une machine à habiter, a machine for living. The house is functional as well as a machine that functionality and beauty derive, so that the activities of daily life in it become fundamental to the compositional process. This machine for living synthesizes and codifies a set of rules, in which the Corbusian architectural language is based. The five points for a new architecture. The house on pilotis. Traditionally, the house lay anchored firmly on the floor, while placed on a dark and humid place. The reinforced concrete provides the piles. The house now hangs in the air, away from the ground, causing a displacement of the garden and landscape beneath it. The garden is located on the house, on the roof. The reinforced concrete is the new way to create a unified system cover. The garden terrace is to not live immediately rainwater and thus maintain an average humidity in the concrete of the terrace. Until now, varying walls superimposed are presented from the foundations of construction. Downstairs and subsequent upper floors up to the roofs are formed. Thus, the distribution of spaces is subject to load-bearing walls. The use of reinforced concrete in the project can bring an open floor plan. Different plans no longer trace through the dividing walls. Now, they are free. The window is one of the essential features of the house. Progress brings with it freedom. Reinforced concrete generated a revolution in the history of the window. Now windows can run freely from one end of the facade to the other. The columns of the facades are retracted into the interior of the housing. The cantilever slabs remain. The facades are nothing but light curtains, independent of the walls. The facade is free.
the villa stands at the center of the property, which is surrounded by a large grove. A parallel pipe shapes the volumetric composition. It rests on a base and appears to be suspended on an structure of reinforced concrete pilotis, a ranch in an orthogonal grid and continuous distance. A pure, hard, and sober volume that hangs in the air, resembling floating, to get away from the ground, shows the triumph of the geometry of man over nature. This distancing of the land is reflected clearly by providing the main living spaces, the piano nobile on the second level. However, so the service rooms and garages spread across the ground floor. A pure rational speech with perfect geometry, the architecture provides a stark contrast to their natural environment, which does not significantly affect the composition of the Villa Savoie. It could rise elsewhere without affecting its original conception. Le Cavusier tries to establish universal values in the composition of a project. Le Cavusier's villa did not specifically respond to the character of a place and in contrast can be adapted to any view. With the main spaces located on the second level of the house, the entrance to the building of a motorized vehicle is proposed, which has a significant influence on the layout of the ground floor. The car began its incursion through an opening in the entrance facade. It moves into and continues its journey along a curved glass wall, at whose end the access to housing is located. The visitors enter the building on the main axis, and the car will continue until the end of the curve to enter diagonally in the garage. The arrangement and spacing of the pilotis are based on the path and angle of rotation of the car, which carries a symbolic value, underlining the mystique of the Corbusian machine. The layout of the Villa Savoie at approximately the center of the field means a free composition, where exterior tour is allowed on its four sides. When carrying out this tour, another factor is taken into account. Time. The location of the main entrance in the back of the house forced to do this tour in a ceremonial way, an evocation of antiquity. Upon entering the house, After crossing the threshold of the curved glass wall, a new sense in the idea of the route to the visitor emerges. Promenade architectural. With this concept, Luc Cuboussier controls the flow through his works, in order to transmit the user a sequence of experiences that leave their mark on it. In the Villa Savoie, the ramp is the bond of successive experiences. The ramp connects the different levels of the villa. As it stands on the axis of the composition, it becomes the backbone of the project. It shows us a dynamic step and a gradual expansion of the space as it goes up. The spatial solution is limited to the solution of the route through the ramp. The user, aware of the game of architectural forms, will experience conflicting sensations as he moves from a close area to the spatial expansion of the terrace. The ramp not only acts as a circulation of housing, but also the center of rotation which derive most spaces. Reinforced concrete creates an independent structural system columns and beams capable of supporting large openings without intermediate supports, whereby an open floor plan, exempt from the envelope and the interior spaces, is generated. These spaces are resolved in a way without modulation or respect the logic of the structural system used. Bedrooms and bathrooms make up the private spaces, the kitchen, the dining room and the living room the social area, all within the so-called Piano Nobile, which, by being located on the second level, will allow the user to obtain a better perspective from the outside. 
the horizontal window reaffirms this position, generating a frame of vision towards the viewer, without the environment completely penetrating the interior. The exterior is observed in an orderly and contained way. The idea of movement is facilitated since it punctually focuses its vision. The living room has a rectangular plan. On one of its sides, a large glass wall is generated towards an interior patio. The special treatment is linked to the treatment of light. The interior is integrated with the exterior through this large window. The open patio works as a provider of light to the interior of the spaces, and in the same way that happens with the ramp, there is a special arrangement around it. The ramp that connects the three levels culminates in the terrace, where the house, already freed from functional commitments, becomes an almost poetic space. The use of flat roofs on the terrace allows them to be used as a garden, thus recovering the land that the building occupies in the ground. Hanging garden, landscape terrace, solarium, the space functions as a filter between the interior and the wide views of the landscape. The terrace is enclosed with a high volume as a protective screen, the final signature of the composition, a gesture that proclaims the sense of freedom and the idea of liberation that the villa manifests. The concavity and convexity of the planes of the screen keeps and announces the villa to distant horizons. The consistency of the surfaces and the purity of the geometry of the village reaffirm the rational and intellectual implications of Le Corbusier's symbolism. The order, clarity, as a reflection of its architecture, reflecting an idealist position and forms that were seen as analogous to machines in their precision and efficiency. The synthesis of all principles upheld by Le Corbusier gives the house its character as a manifesto work, at the same time that it turns into a plastic work of pure lyricism. If you like the video, please do hit that thumbs up and share it. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell button. Thank you for watching and see you next time.